Hello everyone, welcome to this video showing you about Automate Woo, which is an add-on to WooCommerce. And I'm going to be talking about how I've been using this instead of using the Zapier plugin that you would normally use when you're wanting to connect your WooCommerce store to other things such as your email marketing, um, CRM systems, etc. So what I have been using is something called Automate Woo. So Automate Woo, it's $99 every single year. Um, and it's a new, it's not new, but it's a different way of doing the automation side that you need on WooCommerce. Otherwise your other option, which is cheaper, is using the Zapier login, so the Zapier one, which is $59. So I use that the WooCommerce Zapier for a lot of my clients but I wanted to say, oh, I'm always looking at the different things, like, you know, what else have we got out there? So I've been looking into the Automate Woo one. Now, Automate Woo, it's in, the good thing about it is you wouldn't need to pay for Zapier. So what I found with a lot of clients when they're using the Zapier integration is, yes, you've got this $59, it's annually, it's cheaper than the $99 for Automate Woo. But then you'd actually be paying for Zapier as well. So Zapier is roughly around about $24.99 a month. And you'd be paying for that every single month. So obviously that would accumulate higher. But so I would say if you're only needing to connect up to like a cert certain systems that you can do with Automate Woo, then don't get the Zapier one. If you're wanting to not just connect WooCommerce, and you're wanting to connect loads of other things as well, so you might be wanting to connect your Gmail up to Trello, etc., etc. Then 100% get the WooCommerce Zapier one because you're already going to be paying for Zapier and it's cheaper. So into this anyway, so how it works. So how it works is you've got these things called workflows. So I've set a couple up already when I've been trying it out over the last few days and things. So we have, if, um, we go into this one, for instance, Email Marketing Strategy Masterclass. This is what we've called the workflow. So if you're used to automations, you'll be kind of used to this kind of thing. And then what you can do is you set your trigger. So again, if you're used to automations, you'll understand this. And this basically means what's going, what's going to make this happen. So we've said that when an order is paid, then we've added a rule in. So we've said if this order is the Email Marketing Strategy Masterclass, then I want you to do this and then we've got two actions that it's going to do action one it's going to change the status of the order to completed but there's nothing worse when you've got loads of when you sat here in WooCommerce and it says you've got 19 orders but you've not reviewed them yet and you've not changed them to completed so let's do that automatically and then it also adds them into my email marketing system active campaign it adds their tagging it adds them into a list and it also adds in their phone numbers, last names, first names, and emails. So that's just fantastic straight away. And the different types of actions that you can get, is you can get things such as sending emails straight from this, changing things inside the customer fields, doing stuff with the order, so you might want it to add a note. Obviously, I've connected Active Campaign into mine. Um, you can connect other things into it as well. And you can do as much as you want, basically. And you can pass through all of these different fields. And I just find it's a lot easier to set up than Zapier itself. So if you was doing it the Zapier way, it'd be a bit more long-winded, but this one's nice and straightforward. You can also quite easily see who's gone through it. So all you need to do there is you can see on the right hand side where it says run count, how many people have been ran through this since it's been set up. And there's actually got some presets as well for you to use. So some ideas where you could use this. So you can do it to trigger a follow-up email to the customer if they've had an abandoned cart for more than four hours. You've got credit card expiries. So if you're running like a membership or anything, this works with your subscription um, plugin for WooCommerce and you can do that. You can do cross-sell. So you can say to someone who's purchased a certain product, you want it to email them, say, maybe you want to purchase this. You've got loyalty ones. So if someone's a repeat customer, It'll recognize that there's loads of different ones out here, even reviews, etc. So there's some that are built in there. It's obviously fantastic just to set up. You just install it, off you go kind of thing. You've got several tools in here so you can check the people who are opting out. So you can make sure you get the opt-in things sorted out as well. If you want to make it that they had to opt into email marketing before it got transferred, you can do that as well. 
You can obviously connect it up to MailChimp as well, Campaign Monitor. There's lots of different ones that you can. Even Bitly is one that you can connect it to. But overall, I feel like it's just so much easier if you're wanting to get started nice and simply without having to worry about Zapier. So I just wanted to do a quick video just to show you a quick overview of that really and what it looks like in the back end because some people ask me what I'm using. I would actually, in my instance, I would have actually used the Zapier plugin just because I actually don't just use Zapier for WooCommerce. I use Zapier to, for hundreds and hundreds of different apps. So I am paying for $24.99, but I'm already paying that even if I didn't have this plugin. Even if I didn't have WooCommerce, I'd still be paying that $24.99. So it'd be easier for me to get this $59 WooCommerce Zapier. I only have Automate Woo just for testing purposes, pretty much. But if I was not wanting to use Zapier for anything else, I just wanted WooCommerce to be automated, then I would have got the automate woo. So if I've got clients coming to me and they're just saying, well, I just want to automate that with WooCommerce and I'll ask them some questions. Are you thinking about doing this in the future, this in the future, this in the future? And if they're not actually going to be needing Zapier in the future, then we would actually just go with automate woo instead of getting the WooCommerce Zapier. Because what we would find is they wouldn't be able to use the free plan for what we need to achieve and they'd end up paying the $24.99 a month for Zapier and then the $59 every single year for this as well. So I hope that helps you. But if you do have any questions, just hit them in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you get any notifications as well. Take care.